Hello, I want to wish everyone a happy Hanukkah. We're still on day one. Last night we lit our first candle on the Hanukkah candlestick, which it is different from the traditional menorah that's in the Bible, which has seven candlesticks. And we're going to go over a little bit about both of these today. How the Hanukkah has got all together nine candlesticks and the traditional menorah that's in the Bible has got seven and why they are different and what the differences are and how the Hanukkah is a representation from the miracle of the oil in connection to the Holy Spirit and the anointing of the Holy Spirit and the nine gifts of the Holy Spirit and the nine fruits of the Spirit. We're going to start with the center candle on it. And the center candle is the attended candle. It's used to kindle the other lights. So, if we go to Galatians 5 and 22, it talks about the fruits of the Spirit. And, and the fruits of the Spirit, let me get over here to it real quick in my Bible. Sorry moving my camera all around I'm using my phone today okay so if we read of it the nine gifts or the nine fruits of the spirit is love joy peace long-suffering gentleness goodness faith meekness and temperance which that word temperance means self-control and if you look at the how they light the menorah and the Hanukkah candlesticks is they use this first one here as a kindling candle. And then the other eight represents the eight days, which eight days is very prophetic too in the Bible, but we'll go over that at another time. But this one here in the center, it kindles all of the rest. And speaking on the fruits of the spirit if you use this candle here to light all of the rest of them and then the very first fruit of the spirit that's listed in scripture is love and if you have love in you the love of christ it will kindle all of the rest of the fruits of the spirit and in this and lighting the uh, the candlesticks, they always write, uh, light from the right to the left, just like with Hebrew, how it's read. You read from the right to the left, which the Old Testament was originally written in. So, and to show this if we read in 1 Corinthians 13 4 and 7 it tells us how love kindles let me get over here to it so chapter 13 starting with verse 4 now, in the scriptures, it, if you're reading from the King James Version, it says the word charity. But charity, it's not charity like we think of charity. And it was originally written in Greek, and it was the word agape, which is another word for love. In verse 4, this is what it says. Charity, which is love, suffereth long and is kind charity envieth not charity charity vaunteth not itself 
it is not puffed up, doth not behave itself unseemly, seeking not her own, and is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in truth. It bears all things, and believeth all things, hopeth all things, and endureth all things. And it says, Charity never faileth. So, if we have that kind of love in us, we're going to have all of the rest of the fruits of the Spirit because it will ignite those in us. And our first day is joy, which would be this candle right here. And then the Bible says in John 15, 10 and 11, that he wishes us to abide in Christ's love so that our joy will remain in us and our joy will be full. Isn't that amazing how the Bible will even bring love and joy and show us that connection together? And then, let's go a little bit further. That covers the nine fruits of the Spirit. And a little bit further is the uh, nine gifts of the Spirit. Which, on the menorah, if we go the same concept with the center that will ignite the rest, the very first gift in 1 Corinthians 12, 8 through 11, it says, For one is given the Spirit, the word of wisdom, to another a word of knowledge by the same Spirit, another faith, and another gifts, let's see, a Faith by the same Spirit to another, the gifts of healing, the same Spirit to another, the working of miracles to another, a prophecy to another, discerning of spirits to another, diverse kinds of tongues to another, an interpretation of tongues. So if we look at this, if we start with the first gift that it talks about. It talks about the Spirit gives the word of wisdom. And wisdom will ignite all of the rest of the gifts. And it makes sense to have that wisdom of God to be able to ignite the rest of the gifts. And then the next one after that if we start from right going to left, it would be this another word of knowledge by the same Spirit. So we have wisdom igniting a word of knowledge. What a beautiful thing. I think it's just beautiful. The Lord was like downloading some of this to me this morning whenever I got up in my Bible studies. And I just think it is just like so awesome how he'll just like reveal things to his people. In this first day of Hanukkah, we have love and joy and our fruits of the Spirit and on the gifts of the Spirit, the revealing of how wisdom will ignite the words of, words of knowledge. Because believe me, it takes God's wisdom. No matter what gifts you have, you need to pray for God's wisdom. And the Bible tells us to do that, to pray for the different gifts. And I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I know it was short, but we will be bringing more whenever we come tonight and light the second candle. Happy Hanukkah, everyone, and have a blessed day.